And we're live. Good evening. Hi, nerds. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a mod stream. <clears throat> Wait a minute. What game is this? Have I been hijacked by a by a friend and colleague who's going to play me a game I haven't played before? Yeah. We, we've hacked your uh, missed CD-ROM system and sent it about 70 years into the future. Man... To, to play a game with a patch note called The Ballad of a Gay Ghost. I, I, I mean, that's not a, that doesn't really sound like a terrible trade-off. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, I commandeered a mon stream because I wanted to play Valhalla. It's been about three years since I've touched it. Uh, and I figured uh, a mon would enjoy it. And also, I would need a lot of help with uh, doing voices. So, well, well, you you are correct both in that I am, I I feel like I've become the designated guy who has to read too much text on this channel, and, and also you are correct. I I believe uh, Limited Run Games put this game out did a s edition of the Switch version of this several years ago, which I purchased and have not played because I am bad at playing my backlog. And um, so this is a good excuse to uh, actually play it. Yeah. If I had the camera hooked up, I would show you my copy of the limited run <laughs> Switch game. There we go. Did you also pick up uh, uh, Read Only Memories 2064? As, as uh, well, I, I, I have a, what, you're going you're gonna to put out a set that you can magnetically connect together? Like, I am in fact the moron who will pluck down money for that. That is me, yeah. so yeah. It was unfortunately too, ri uh, too rich for my blood. But I think I have just gotten uh, read only memories from uh, incidental Ichio bundles against racial ju for racial justice. Mm. Let's uh, let's watch our words there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's that's from that's from the uh, that's from the bad universe where Ichio is a force for evil. <laughs> yeah. So. Uh, tonight we're joining you by uh, voice synthesizer. So I'm over here in red, and Amon is over there in blue. Hi. I I'm really happy that I figured out how to work this. I think it was a plugin they made about two years ago. Crimson has joined and has done nothing but drop a hot take and refuses to elaborate. Uh. I, I did come prepared, because I've been off two weeks. I wrote down a hot take. The Yu-Gi-Oh! dub is perfect. 10 out of 10 wouldn't change a thing. Fair. Uh, what hot take do I have? Uh, I'm looking forward to the Chainsaw Man anime. I'm not going to discuss it with anybody I don't already know. Just go into a hole with... Y you want to just hold the TV <laughs> like Denji does. <laughs> Lock out everything else. I, I will. I will talk about it with my sister. Who? Uh, my my sister got into anime a few years ago, and she has watched a fair number of kind of the big shonen series. Um, she has made a point of avoiding my hero because the fan base disturbs her, and she's just decided, you know what? I don't need that in my life. And you know what? As somebody who likes my hero, no, I get it. Good decision. And that's that's just my hero. That's that's just my hero. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh I'm imagining if she had she been reading Haiku and that was still being published, dear lord. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, yeah. I'm also noticing from uh, now that I've got this overlay going, I had to change things up to make them a bit more cyberpunk from my usual fare. Uh, which is. Not too bad. I'll, I'll change that back when I stream Magic with the Art Deco set. Because that's what they've got going on. But I can see from this that the most recent subscriber was Sky Red Tiger. Oh wait, that was me uh, two days ago. <laughs> I, I had the free Prime sub going on. Uh, everyone I would have subscribed to, some asshole had gifted me a sub. <laughs> So I had nowhere else to use it but back home. <laughs> not, the, not the worst possible problem to have, I suppose. No. Uh, Twi Twitch chat users are quite generous. 
That's nice. Of like that. So. Uh, I'm trying to like what else we can vamp into. Uh, These are some very dystopic prices on this on this little uh, yeah very the, sad looking cart. And th and that's the instant ramen. Oh boy. Yeah. yeah so that we got this indie game Valha made by two guys in Venezuela who are definitely weebs because the uh, working title or in development title for this was Waifu Bartending. And now, and it comes out, and the completed title is Valhalla Cyberpunk Bartending Action. Good uh, title. Yeah. There was a third guy who's involved in all the music. Uh, and you were telling me what you found him in? Uh, well, apparently, he's, according to his uh, Bandcamp page, he's based in Alabama. And apparently, he also did the music for the game Yuppie Psycho, which is a, another. Clearly, anime-inspired game that I own but have not played yet. That I might stream at some point because, uh, to be entirely honest, I mostly agreed to this as a way to get through my Steam backlog uh, because I'm bad at playing video games. Yeah. <laughs> Had someone sit you down and force it, force it on you. Exactly. Which, of course, is why when I have an off week, it's like, hey, let's play <laughs> Mist. I've never played. I've I've played Mist repeatedly. Let's play that again. <laughs> Nah, that's good. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think let's just get into it now. I think we've vamped for long enough. Yeah. So, over here, new game. After I graciously deleted all my saves. No, don't interrupt me to show the credits again from the people that <laughs> made this game. New game. Thank you for playing Valhalla. This is a game best played comfortable. Grab some drinks. Uh, some snacks and enjoy. Sit back and relax, and we hope you have a good time. Awesome. Also, I think we're we did check our audio levels, and I think we're all good. But uh, Crimson, if you're in chat, you can tell us if something's too loud or too quiet. As I peek the microphone on the first line. Psst. <laughs> hey, over here. Boo! That's normal. Don't worry about it. The TV just does that. How's that for an entrance? Come on, Joe. Look sharp. The game's starting and the player needs a good first impression of its main character. I know you served a bunch of tuxedo-clad corgis over the weekend and the bar will eventually close. Oh, we're supposed to play the, the prologue first because... In the chronological order. That's fine. Alright. Actually, hold on. I've, I've made a terrible mistake. Th that was the actual game. We need to go back to, and play the demo. Ah! Not again. So, of course, with any of these indie games, you have uh, all these uh, demo versions that they br bring out to shows. Mm -hmm. There we go. I'm sure that's not a dark portent of anything to come. Absolutely not. So, this this is you, our main character. Yawn. What? Man, such a slow night. Such a slow night. Ellipses. At least I'm not serving dogs. Ellipses. Normally, this would be where a dog shows up like a cheap punchline. I wonder if this is uh, lagging a bit. A little bit. Yeah. If Steam, I guess not. if the Steam uh, broadcast is maybe not the most best way to do this, it's a little behind. No. I'll be honest. Looking at the Twitch stream is a little faster. Okay, Let, let's uh, change tactic then. Uh, let's stop that broadcast and we will entrust uh, Discord with the sharing of screen. Don't uh, fuck it up, Discord. Hi, Andrew. 
Uh, a cushion screen. Yeah, screen will do. As that gets very upset. There we are. I guess not. Speaking of dogs, I wonder where the hell hell's Gill. Board? Ellipses. Wah! Sorry, did I wake you up? I, I wasn't sleeping. My eyes were open. You went to college, right? You know having your eyes open means nothing. Don't worry, I don't blame you. It's been a really long time since we had such a slow night. In fact, I think it, the last time we had a night this slow was before you started working here. Really? Yeah, it happened when Robert was still working here. Who? My first employee. The first idiot bought a... The poor idiot bought a levitation potion and threw him off, himself off a building. Oh. As it turns out, uh, the potion actually worked. Come again? He started rising in the air and couldn't stop. They later found his body smeared across the nose of a commercial flight that was on its way to, uh, Canjavia. But anyway... Could you really dismiss that so easily? We didn't have a single client that night, not even a lost soul asking for directions. But then, suddenly, a kid shows up. He was obviously underage, but I was bored, so I decided to let him on. Let him order something. I gave him one cometrine free drink. I mean, even if I was laying an order, I wasn't about to give alcohol to an underage boy. And then when the time came for him to pay his tab, he realized he didn't have enough money. He then yanked his shirt over his head, started screaming he's a ghost, and tried to escape. So I kicked him so hard he flew out of the bar and told him ghosts shouldn't feel pain. Ellipses. Boss, did you really kick an underage kid? Boss is great. <laughs> of course not. I just gave him a warning and made him wash a couple dishes. The fact that you even thought for a moment that I would kick a young, innocent child hurts me to no end, you know? Anyway, just keep it up. Someone will show up sooner or later. I sure hope so. Hold on. Come to think of it. Aren't Gill's checks made out to Robert? Or, sorry, that was your line. Why am I taking... No! <laughs> hmm. Sigh. Well, at least that story killed a couple of minutes. I think I'll... I don't know. Sort the glasses here or something. Huh, we had a fedora-shaped glass. Is that where that oh, comes this, from? This is a dystopia. I haven't played the demo part of this, actually, so some of this I'm seeing for the first time. Um, anybody here? Ah, sorry. I'll be right the ouch. I'm sorry, Andrew. You've missed the uh, one hot ammo cut take cutoff. <laughs> Are, are you okay? I'm fine, yeah. You still have lines. Uh, what can I, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? Um, Something wrong? Are you sure you're old enough to drink? Yeah. It's the... They just like the aesthetics of uh, sailor uniforms. Don't worry about it. Well, seeing how as how I'm old enough to eat solid food, I'm going to guess that drinking won't be a problem. Al Jaffe would be proud of that comeback. Uh, you know that's not what I meant. Yeah, yeah, I'm old enough to drink. I turned 21 not long ago, actually. Ellipses. I reiterate, that's normal, don't worry about it. 
Still don't believe me? What do you need me need me to give you? I must be sleep deprived or something. What's this deja vu feeling, though? It's fine, don't worry. What can I get you? I feel like having a sugar rush. Sure, coming right up. She wants a sugar rush. She looks a bit too young, though. Hmm. So, uh, this is now into the main mechanic of the game, where... Okay. Uh, where we have various drinks that we can uh, serve, and they don't give us much direction on what uh, people want, as long as it uh, tends to match up with uh, the quality. So something All like right. a beer here is made from a bunch of these chemical compounds. Uh, and we have uh, the calmatrine here is basically just the alcohol content. Mm -hmm. You could jack that up to to um, the entire drink if you want to. And you do get bits of uh, lore for doing that. that. That's one of the main... This being one of the main ways that you affect the game. Uh, so getting a uh, patron plastered. Positively help, hammered. Yeah, has some fun results. And we have a guide on everything that we can make here. Alright. So, uh, let me just do this up. So, two aldehyde, one powdered delta. Optional camatrine, so I don't need to add it to... Here, if I put something else in here just to... Just to show you, if I do it wrong, we get a result like this. Uh, it's all corrupted. Yeah, but we can uh, retry all we want. And we're we're thinking that this is maybe not a uh, an adult, so we can we can skip the commentrine, skip the alcohol. Uh, and we have a sugar rush, a sweet, girly, yeah. and happy drink. Here. Thanks. Hold on. This doesn't have any alcohol, does it? Nope. You really think I'm underage, don't you? Yep. I'll have you know I'm old enough to get pregnant. That's sadly not relevant here. Uh, on second thought, this is actually good. Or, I mean, don't misunderestimate me. Do you really think I look that young? I do, but not young enough to be considered underage. Then why won't you give me alcohol? Because I wanted to mess with you. Mess with a client? Do you usually do that? Only if it looks like they might take it in their stride. <laughs> Still, why are you so angry at the idea I might think you look young? That, that's... I mean, the only people who don't like being mistaken for someone younger are young people. Mm-hmm. But to be fair, you still look older than 95% of our regulars. You're gonna meet the regulars uh, soon. Oh, boy. That would mean you serve drinks to people that look like they're 13 years old or something. Yep. It. Anime noise. <laughs> Alright, let's get this out of the way. Please show me your ID. You know what's terrible? My friend Sayaka does in fact make that noise when she's surprised. Just the, uh... The eh, jab like, I've seen her do that repeatedly. It's, 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 it's not the, the, it's not the thing for anime I expect it to be a thing that, like, actual people do, but there we are. <laughs> sure. Would you like to read that name out? Anna Graham. Ellipses. Seems everything's in order, Miss Anna... Gr Graham? 
Hannah Graham. Where have I heard that name before? Go ahead. Just try to make a joke I haven't heard yet. I'll politely refuse. No, I'm serious. Go ahead. People think it's too easy, so they never make jokes about my name. I'm still going to politely refuse. You're no fun. So what's your name, Miss Bartender? My name? You saw my name. I have the right to know yours. Fair enough. I'm Jill. Jill what? Just Jill. Yeah, but what's your full name? Just call me Jill. Mm. <coughs> Find I'll pretend I'll just pretend Jill is a way of saying your name is actually uh, Johanna Ignazia Lauren 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 Loan. Actually, I'll shorten it to Joe. Whatever floats your boat. Say, Joe, this place looks awfully desolate. Joe, see, she says. It's been a slow day. A really, really slow day. I'm actually glad you showed up. I was growing bored as hell. I mean, it's not like we're always bustling with activity, but this is unusual even for here. So I take it, it this isn't a popular place then? We have our regulars, but we're not like the bars in the main street. Still, I like this place. It's comfy and, I don't know, it makes me feel safe. Weird. I mean, I feel that way too, but this place usually gives off the opposite impression. Can't blame them, though. This isn't exactly the best part of the city. That's a shame. I really liked ha how isolated this place feels. I can't hear the sounds of the city in here. It's nice. But then again, you could say I have some experience with isolated places, so it might just be nostalgic. Mm. Nostalgia, huh? Speaking of coming in here, now that I think about it, you didn't ask for my ID when I first came in. What, why didn't you do it if you were so suspicious? Well, firstly, I was bored. Mm -hmm. Figures. And second, I felt like you were of legal age. Um, how? We've had a lot of kids come in thinking they can get away with ordering a drink, but they're too nervous or jumpy. I don't usually give drinks to kids like that. They don't know what they're dealing with. What if they're not like that, but still underage? If they at least look like they're above legal age, I would be able to live with myself, I guess. I won't give them anything if I know they're still kids. But hey, I'm bound to be fooled sometimes. So I'm guessing I wasn't jumpy? Yep. I see. Hey Joe, now that you know I can drink legally, can I get another one? What do you want? Mmm, give me something sweet. Sweet? Sure. Mm. Well... Uh, so we can go by... This is just telling us we can go by flavor instead. Mm -hmm. Anything uh, strike your fancy here? Piano woman. Piano woman. Oh, and it's a pricey drink. Good. We're, Ooh, fancy. Yeah. We're uh, bleeding <laughs> yeah, I there. I like this. Uh, originally called Pretty Woman, but too many people complain there should be a piano woman if there was a piano man. Alright, then we have it at all aged and mixed. P woman. There we go. One sweet drink. Thanks. Now, if all the drinks were like this, I'd be afraid of turning into an alcoholic. Please don't joke about that. How can you say that? You're a bartender. A bartender doesn't want her clients to become alcoholics. 
just like how personal trainers don't want their trainees to turn into steroid junkies. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. Still, this one's really nice. Hey Joe, do you drink? I suppose, yeah, it'd be weird for a bartender not to drink, you know? I don't know. I've met dentists who are with bad teeth. Bartenders who don't drink totally would totally make sense. That's silly. It'd be like a vegan chef running a barbecue restaurant. The blind leading the blind. You think? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not a matter of whether you can eat or drink whatever it is that you're making. It's more like, why do it if you don't like it? Hmm, yeah, I guess that's true. A dentist might have bad teeth, but he could still like working in dentistry. But why bother bartending if you don't like alcohol? See? Hmm. Hmm. Something wrong? I just noticed you haven't said my name yet. I haven't... what? Aside from when you le read my ID out loud, you haven't said my name. Meanwhile, I've called out yours like a gazillion times now. The wrong name, though. Well, I haven't had the need to say your name. Come on, humor me. Say my name. Why? It's like... I'm trying to think. It's absurd. Abs asserting dominance. And it feels like a wrestling thing. <laughs> Say my name. Say my name. Say my name! Ty. Anna. One more time. Moike. Anna. Yes, now one more time. Nana. Ellipses. It happened again. Maybe I need glasses. Nice that feeling again. Did I see someone glitch out in the past? Hmm. Oh, come on. Why did you want me to say your name? I like hearing call out my name. Call me by name. It feels personal and fuzzy. Yeah, but asking people to say your name like that is a bit... Quirky? Creepy. I don't know about that. There was this certain someone who would wake me up in the morning uh, saying my name. Your name is important. Once you know someone's name, the gap between that person and you disappears. Once you give names to things, you start seeing them as important members of the family. So what if it's creepy? It's still nice. Stop calling me Joe and use my name then. Say, hey, Anna, can I ask you something? You called me by my name, so sure. About your arm. Mm. Which one? The one over here in shadow or this one? <laughs> what, what about it? Oh, yeah, I'm lacking one. It's not coming up through the, uh, through the profile, is it? What about it? Oh, yeah, I'm lacking one. Did saying the word creepy remind you of its uh, absence? <laughs> Actually, I've been wanting to ask about it since you came in. At least be uncomfortable for a second. I'm trying to get a rise out of you. Sheesh. It worked on me IRL, so that's, that's fine. So what is it? How did I lose it? If it's not too personal. It isn't. I'm actually proud of the tale. Eh? Why? You're looking at the, a proud survivor of nanomachine rejection. Really? I thought that was something the doctors detected while a fetus is still in the womb. Yes and no. There's actually two types of nanomachine rejection syndrome. We're getting into the cyberpunk stuff now. Mm -hmm. The first is, is the most common. They usually detect it while you're still a fetus. That's when they turn you into a cat boomer. 
I'm just, I'm just pausing for effect. Cat boomer, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the other one uh, some can sometimes appear in your teenage years. It's incredibly rare, but it's still possible. So that arm. Nanomachine rejection basically causes your body to attack itself. Tissues start ripping apart, your organs malfunction. I was lucky. In the end, all I lost was an arm and a handful of toes. Get it? A handful? Because I've lost five? Ellipses. <laughs> anyway. I have a prosthetic arm, but it's in maintenance right now. Ah, I see. It's a bit weird to be without it. I still feel, I still feel like it's there. Ah, uh, phantom pain. Just a couple of hours ago, I tried to grab something, and I just stood there, thinking the arm was doing something. But anyways, mind getting me another drink? We can keep talking about my stump after that. Um, right. What do you want? Let's try something classy. It's weird being in a bar and not asking for a fancy drink. Alright. Okay. So now we're going by the type of drink. Ooh, bad touch. Bad touch. We're nothing but mammals after all. Mm -hmm. Sour, classy, vintage. Oh, that actually is the description. Excuse me. <laughs> all on the rocks and next. Here. This looks expensive. All right, I'm starting to have second thoughts right now. Just, just drink it. <laughs> I'm starting to feel dizzy. That's nice. Is it? It is. Of course. I spent so much time in hospitals and whatnot, but now I'm just living my life. You know. I want to feel the good and the bad. No more being forced to sit quietly in in a quarantine room. Yeah, I can get that. Wait, quarantine? I'm familiar with that word. Mm, me too. Type 2 nanomachine rejection patients are put in a special chamber free from the nanomachine particles in the air. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That prevents them from being assimilated and aggravating their whole situation. To be fair, not all of my memories of that chamber are bad. I mean, I did spend three, four years in one of those places. Really? That long? Well, I didn't get... I didn't go for the genetic level treatment, so it was longer and a lot less expensive. I'm not going to complain, though. I, I'm alive thanks to all that. And I left with so many fond memories, too. So that's what you meant with the whole feeling nostalgic and isolated places thing. Yep. Mm. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Just dizzy. Ellipsis. Hey, Joe. If I ordered two drinks, would you be willing to share one with me? Come again? To be honest, talking about the treatment and all that makes me feel a bit lonely. Sorry if it's nothing you can do, but I had to ask. It's not something I'd normally do, but... Eh, what the hell. Sure. Really? Yay! Alright then, I want a piano man and a piano woman. On it. Alright, so we're starting by name. Piano yeah, man, piano yeah, woman. This drink does not represent the opinions of the Bar Pianist Union or its associates. The, uh, the or piano man. <laughs> the, the, the ideal piano man. The platonic ideal of the piano man. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, all of on the rocks and mixed. So that's the first drink done. And the next one is all behind. Bob Bronson to Delta, three Flanagan, and three alcohol. 
again, all on the age in the list. The woman. Two drinks. Two drinks. Which one do you want? Do you prefer the man or the woman? I'm fine with either, really. Mm hmm. Okay, <laughs> I'll, I'll pick the woman then. Cheers! Ellipses. Alright, this is getting weird. I said. Cheers! Oh, cheers. Yeah! Ellipses. Hmm. Hmm. Are you okay? Hey, Joe. Why do you think bad things happen? That's a sudden question. How so? It, it feels like a lot of this what a lot of this game is gonna be actually. That's a sudden <laughs> question. If there's a god, why do you think bad things happen? Are you in a contemplative com are you a con are you in a contemplative mood or something? Kinda. Huh. I remember a conversation in college where a classmate said we give God too much flack. How so? Well, let's imagine a place where virtually nothing bad happens. If an experience doesn't one-up the last good thing you'd enjoyed, you feel like it was a bad one. Even if you lived in a place where everything good was one-up by even better good, past events would seem bad. Um, eh? Well, let's say you have chocolate. I like chocolate. Everyone does. My mom doesn't. But then she's a rare case. She also doesn't like pizza. <laughs> Is she even human? Er, uh, sorry, I mean... <laughs> Damn it, where was I? On the story, chocolate. Right. If you only got good chocolate, a slightly less good chocolate would taste awful. Yeah, I can see that. And if you only got chocolate that's tasted better each time, then the chocolates you ate in the past would worsen in memory. Oh, yeah, now I get it. So yeah, sometimes bad is just a matter of contrast. That still doesn't justify why bad things like death happen. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we're just too concerned with smaller plans to look at the bigger picture. Maybe that death will trigger something else in the future. If there's reincarnation, maybe that person's needs needed somewhere else. Hmm. Maybe the world works in an entirely different way we're limited by human reasoning. I don't know. I'm just a bartender. If there's someone to ask about the metaphysical nature of death, it's not me. Uh, sounds disappointing somehow. Sometimes I think <laughs> God is just a dick. See, now we're getting to it. This is what she actually <laughs> wanted to get at. Giving me a disease, allowing me to survive, but, it, but depriving me of my special someone. Uh, um, do you need context for all that? The special someone, I mean? I'll connect the dots eventually. Keep talking. You're obviously venting some stuff here. Oh. Alright then. It's like God's... I don't know. It's like he's some edgy writer who likes having his characters suffer. I take solace in that reason because then I start expecting bad things. What if you're looking at it from the wrong angle? How so? Main characters usually have this tragic backstory that we never really see in the beginning. I am a main character. Something that helps them move on, that gives them motivation to power through the plot. Maybe, maybe you're not living the girth of your story yet. Maybe this is your backstory getting set. Who knows what the future holds for you? Eh? That'd be nice. It's at least better than my old outlook. Yeah, I like it a lot. I'm going to start thinking that way now. Today my origin story ends and my actual narrative begins. 
That's the spirit. Thanks, Joe. I feel a bit better. I'll be here if you need an ear. Glad to know that. I have to leave. Bye, Joe. Please come again. I will. Well, that was an entertaining diversion. Ah, boss, what <laughs> happened? I came to ask you that. Eh? You just spent an hour talking to yourself. No, I didn't. There was a girl called Anna here. There was nobody here. I was actually coming to tell you we're going to close for tonight, and there you were, chatting with the thin air. A spirited talk, too. That can't be. She paid for her drinks. The registry says the money came from your account. What about all the drinks I served her? You mean the liquid that someone who is definitely not going to be me has to clean up off the floor? But I... Jill, you're worrying me. Are you okay? The last thing I need is another employee who talks to herself. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Mm. Let's see. Are you sure there wasn't anyone else here? I even checked the security cameras. You were here by yourself this whole time. Ellipses. Maybe you're tired. You're probably were just sleep talking really intensely or something. Yeah, maybe. Come on, I'll drive you home. Maybe you just need a rest. Yeah. Hmm. What the hell just happened? I said don't worry about it. Anyways. And that's the demo that they used to sell people on this game. Solid. I would convince you to play this game. Yeah. What else do we have here? So now, having finished the prologue and learning about the game, uh, we now get to go to our tragic backstory. Oh, boy. Uh, Friday, December 9th. Okay, this is even a few days prior. Good evening. Well, at least one of my employees showed up. Huh? What about Gil? He mumbled something about holes and and pests and asked for a couple days off. Business as usual, then. Not quite. How so? I mean, us, not Gil. Business will be a tad different but through the weekend. We got booked. You'll notice that uh, the prologue had day one, day two, day three, so we're going to mm -hmm. be playing three days of the prologue. Alright. That's a new one. Who made the booking? The Safire to Toy Company. They make toys for dogs. <laughs> it's their anniversary or something like that. We usually don't reserve the bar. Why do it this time? The clients are adorable. Excuse me? You'll see. Anything special I should know? They'll give you a ticket to trade in for any drink they want. Just do your usual thing. Fair enough. I'll be in my office. Call me if you need me. Sure. Well then. Oh, hey, now we get uh, jukebox time. Jukebox. So we were leaving this to you. Uh, did you have anything that that uh, stuck out to you. Not yet. All right. Almost yeah. because I don't know what any of the songs are yeah. yet. Uh, I think one of the main themes is Every Day is Night. Uh, you can remove them. I should be getting like a uh, preview of it. But we can just uh, go for... You have uh, two every days and nights in there too. That's fine. I like that one. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, there we go. Time, Time to mix drinks and change lives. 
I say it every time. It never gets old. Uh, excuse me, I'll have a grizzly temple. Your uh, reaction did cut out a, a little bit there on, <laughs> on the Discord end. I, I, I yelped in joy because it's a small dog. Ellipses. Hmm. Hello? There, I'll take Jill for a bit. A right. dog? A talking dog? A, are you with the Safe Fair Toy Company? Yeah, did I arrive too early? No. The clients are adorable. Son of a bitch. The Grizzly Temple, right? Coming right up. Alright, let's get this uh, Grizzly Temple. This one's kind of unbearable. It's mostly fans of the movie it, it was used in. Ain't or that... fans of the movie it was used in. Okay. So we're doing uh, the blended strat here, which means letting this run for a, a little bit longer. All right. Here you go. Thanks. Hmm. This is going to be a long weekend, isn't it? Hey, is the Bronson extract here produced using organic roots? Ah, <laughs> oh, great voice. I don't know that information. Anyone I can talk to about that? Here? Right now? No. But you should have that information on hand! Every BTC certified bar is no different from the, a fast food chain. We get the same supplies as everyone else. Ask BTC officials if you want to know. But you should... We don't. But saying that we should over and over is not gonna get is not going to change reality. <laughs> Hold on. Give me something with lots of Bronson extract, then. I, I need to play with the TV a little bit because we have that now too. TV. All right, he'll buy that for a dollar. Something with lots of Bronson extract. Let's uh. I think this is just kind of like a strong flavor that they're trying to get. Let's just browse around, see what uh, pops up. Three, five for a gut, gut punch. Gut punch is five, all right. Six for a Mars Ooh, Blast. Ooh, Mars Blast is six, all right. Yeah, and then there was one that was four. I think we have the winner, Mars Blast. Uh, yeah. One of these is enough to leave your face red like the actual planet. Spicely. Manly. Strong. I think I've got that all right. Oh, I didn't wait oh. long enough. Four. Uh, six. Is there supposed to be a uh, karma trine in here? Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. I, I'm doing this uh, with these shortcuts mostly. Let's uh, slow down. Let's not fail the tutorial level. Well, well, Dave, we're off to a bad start. The tutorial level has only just begun, and we've already messed it all up. I don't know actually when uh, you have played these levels in relation to like the main game coming up here what the hell is this your order this is what bronson extract tastes like sort of yeah well fuck that noise it's not worth the effort <sighs> no it's not excuse me I think uh, th this guy is going to be a recurring character. He's got a very, like, calm voice. Excuse me. Thank God, a person. Well, 
as much of a person as the designated driver can be. He looks like Brahms from those The Boy movies. Okay. Yeah. What I mean is, why are there so many dogs? Why dogs? Why? Well, the Corgis created the Safe Art Toy Company, and they've been doing a great job, so... <clears throat> a company run exclusively by dogs? Really? And a good one at that. Their only problem is that they have a not-so-discreet preference for hiring corgis exclusively. Why? Something about being more comfortable around their own kind. Wow. Racism in the dog uh, hiring industry. It's always where you least expect it. Mm. Are you with them? Well, I do prefer oh. corgis, but... Not we got. <laughs> Sorry, I up. took your line. We got mixed up. <laughs> no, I mean, why are you, are you working with them? Yeah, well, I'm only here because the law requires at least one humanoid on the payroll. Does the law really cover such scenarios? <laughs> why take a job like this? Because it means I'm surrounded by corgis all day long. I'm trying to do, uh, do some volume mixer stuff on my end. Excuse me. Uh, take your time. I like the music. It's just getting loud in my ear. Uh, okay. Designated driver woes aside, it's the closest thing to heaven. Yeah. Although, to be fair, I'm not much of a drinker anyways. I see. Well, to each their own. Are you going to drink anything? Do you have anything non-alcoholic? Let's see what I can fetch you. Did you intend to make a pun? A pun? Never mind. I want something non-alcoholic. Right. That'll work. Yeah. Uh, I just went to the first thing with... We're basically after anything without cometrine in it. Right. Nick gets a little, uh, a little sad. Uh, when you only need three ingredients in the drink. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Thanks. You sure this isn't alcoholic? It's just sugar. Pretty sure. Okay. Listen, I need to know. Is it really going to be only corgis today? Is that all I'm going to be doing all night? Serve the same kind of dog over and over? Listen, the, the game. The vast majority of them are Pembroke Welsh corgis. Listen, the game hasn't been published yet. It's all we have the budget for. <laughs> there are a couple of Cardigan Welsh corgis. But the relationship between the two breeds is a tad difficult, so the cardigans weren't invited. <clears throat> so, yeah, I guess you'll be serving the same kind of dog all night. No, I mean, isn't there some other human I might talk to today? There's a woman on staff, but she couldn't come today. Oh boy. Is that a problem somehow? It's not really a problem. We've survived worse than this. Like the time when the, an AA meeting came here asking for non-alcoholic stuff only. But just thinking about the fact that I'm serving drinks to dogs. That at some point, all the choices in my life led me to serving drinks to a group of talking dogs. It's one of those moments that makes you want to stop and rethink where your life is going. Do you perhaps not like this job? I do. I love every second of this job. But dogs! 
It's like a fashion designer suddenly realizing he's been designing edible underwear. I still don't see what your problem is with the dogs, but I'm not going to force the subject. Well, I'm going to try entertaining myself for a bit. The stuff for playing pool is underneath the table. There are also darts in the, in the box next to the, next to the jukebox. Great. Thanks for the information. Call if you need another drink. Sure. I'm feeling happy, so I'll get everyone around. Actually, it's a free bar. I won't let you spoil my mood. I want a fringe weaver. Coming right up. <coughs> uh, it's like uh. drinking uh, ethylic alcohol with a spoonful of sugar. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nine of these all age. It's just, it's, just, it's just booze with a sweetener on top. Jesus. Don't worry about it. It's perfect. Still an awesome day. Yo, what's an alpha male guy doing against some service? <laughs> oh. What may I serve you? Beer and quickly. Coming right up. <laughs> this dog wants a beer. This dog named Dragon Fucker. <laughs> oh. Traditionally, brewed beer has become a luxury, but this one's pretty close to the real deal. Bubbly. Classic. Vintage. Mm -hmm. It looks frothy enough. Yep. Here you are. Damn, you're a slow piece of shit. <laughs> oh. What a charmer. Perfect demo of what this game is. Absolutely. Hey boss, what is the opposite of deja vu again? Oh, I know this. I learned it in Disco Elysium. It's called Jamevu. 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 The, feel oh, the feeling, the feeling that you've Thank never seen something before. Thank you, France. Yeah, that. Are you having a premonition? Something like that. That dog felt uncannily familiar. It feels like a reference to some uh, meta joke. Are you bored? Not really. I was playing with the darts a bit ago. I thought about playing pool, but all the other clients are thumb challenged. Sorry if this sounds rude, but why are the dart? Why was the darts box so dusty? You're the first person in the year or so that I've been here that has actually played with darts. I think even my boss forgot they existed. By the way, how are the dogs as clients? We've had worse. Have you had someone come in and gnaw chairs to pieces? Yes, she was testing out her new mechanical teeth. She got banned from entering any BTC bar after that. With anecdotes like these, you'd think serving dogs would feel totally normal. And yet, you'd be wrong because even then we're talking about humans. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've served a dog or two in my time, but they usually come in with someone. And they never talk. Now that I, th now that I think about it, these drinks bad for the dogs. Now you worry about that? But no, they aren't. Only cup cappuccino monkeys. Yeah, cappuccino monkeys are at risk if they drink those chemicals. Anyway, you want an anything to drink? Capuchin monkeys is the real word. Surprise me, but keep it non-alcoholic. Your sure thing. All right, we have some uh, some options then. Uh, maybe just one of these. Girly drinks. Yeah, 
Good guess. A couple of these will make your tongue feel velvety. More of them and you'll be sleeping soundly. Sour. Girly. Soft. Fluffy dream. Here you go. Thank you. This might sound weird to ask, but they talk through their collars, right? That's right. How do they work? It's not too hard, really. They're just translators. They read the dog's brains and turn their thoughts into words. That's how translation works. Right. Do keep in mind that today's dog breeds have more cognitive capacity than their ancestors. If you put the translators on dogs from a decade ago, they wouldn't work like they do now. Hmm. Yeah, I read something about that once. Another question, why do they wear those small tuxedos? It's good for PR. You don't say. Well, it'll be a bit before we go for the day. Any other questions? Yes, why the fuck do these dogs want to get drunk? <laughs> They see humans do it, and they think it might be fun. Just like teens, then. Now, if you'll excuse me. Ellipses. What can I serve you? Moon! Excuse me? Moon! A moon blast? Moon! A big moon blast. Moon! Alright then. <laughs> Dog wants a big moon blast. Alright. Uh... Moonblast. Alright, so when we go for big drinks, what we're doing is adding... We're doubling the ingredients, basically. I see. Uh, that gets us just to ten. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one more card delta, one more planner. Uh, all on the rocks. And the big mix. So we filled the mixer up to the top with that. Uh -huh. Here. Uh -huh. There we go. Let's see if we can turn off noise suppression. Stop you from getting cut off while you're going. You're, you're going through the effort of shouting. <laughs> it, it was... Hey, Ravinsike, Pikese, let's go. Hey, Ravinsike, Pikese, Lispe. Oh, it's pig Latin. Yeah. Cre cre crevice, crevice, yeah, okay, crevice spike. I don't think that's how pig Latin works. I think you're supposed to take the sound. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, under, oh, yeah, understand, yeah, eme. You're doing it wrong, but I. I still understand you. I was a kid too. This dog wants a crevice spike. So two of these, four of these. It will knock, it will knock the drunkenness out of you, or knock you out cold. Sour, manly, sobering. Let's add a little commentary. Mm -hmm. Let that blend. Here, hey. You stay. Oh, I got an achievement for that one. Hey. All right, one more drink before we wrap things up. What do you want? I'm not picky. Give me anything. Of course. Anything, he said. Hmm. Every drink here is priced at five hundred dollars. Damn. 
There you are. Thanks. So, what exactly do you do? Sorry if it's rude to ask. I guess I am what people call an office boy. My duties usually involve looking for things, answering a few calls, that sort of stuff. But this being a dog-run company, there's a lot more responsibilities. Like getting stuff off of shelves and opening windows. <laughs> At least they pay well. I see. How did you end up in that position? Where did you get that offer? My neighbor is the owner of one of the dogs. He told me they needed, quote, thumbs, unquote. Figures. They are celebrating the company's anniversary, right? Yeah, five years ago, three corgis became dissatisfied with the quality of existing dog toys. So they founded this company. They got the money from their owners, if I remember correctly. Just a small loan of $10,000. Absolutely. I can see that happening, somehow. The STC is the second biggest dog toy company in the world. Fun fact, they started as Safeair Toy Development. Ah! Ain't that unfortunate. I, I did have to pause for a moment there. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, is that the voice you're going with? Hmm? I, I don't know who Dorothy... Oh, uh, I thought it was going to be a dog. Let's see. The bar's favorite sweetheart has arrived! Mm. Ellipses. Why are you quiet? I'm waiting for the audience's cheers to stop. Yay. She thinks <laughs> she's on a sitcom. Just comes in uh, like Kramer. <laughs> Expecting cheers. I dig it. <laughs> oh no, the the game and I are on the same wavelength. <laughs> it's starting early. This isn't a sitcom. Aw, oh, honey, how innocent. Uh, excuse me, you are... I'm the lovely Dorothy Hayes at your sir. Wait, you're a Lilum. Not at your service, then. Hmm. She only serves humans, I guess. Hmm. Uh? Don't be rude to other clients. She's kind of a regular here. Kind of? Alright. Mm. Excuse me. I've been coming here religiously for the past three months now. Three months! I come here to see your charming face, and you say I'm just kind of a regular? For shame, honey. For shame. I'm sorry. I guess. Nothing a free drink won't solve. Pout, pout, pout. Won't do. <laughs> huh? You playing hard to get? Even if I want to give you a drink, we're booked for the whole weekend. Don't you think you should at least put a sign out front or something? Hey, I only found out about... found out myself just a few minutes ago. She can have one of my tickets if you're okay with it. I see no problem. Oh, you're so sweet. If you were at least 40% organic, I'd give you... I would give you a discount. Oh, she has little hearts in her eyes. Aw. Discount? Y you don't need to know. <laughs> so, who booked you? This guy? The Safair Toy Company. What do they do? We, uh, they create dog toys. Oh, lovely. I like them. It's also run by dogs. Oh, don't joke like that. You think I'd kid about something like that? Mm. Ellipses. Y you mean that if I turn around, I'd see dogs? 
Yeah, didn't you see them when you came in? I just entered without looking anywhere else but the bar. One track mind. <laughs> you look troubled. I'm not too much of a dog person. I even charge extra if my clients want it doggy style. <laughs> doggy? doggy? Pieces coming together. <laughs> you don't need to know. I'm going to take this ticket and trade it in next Monday. I'm leaving right now. <laughs> the ticket will have been expired by then, though. She looks like the kind of girl that will hold you to your promise regardless. Oh, no. Is it that obvious? Well, I have to gather the calves outside. Keep it up, bartender. Good night. Yeah, you too. Good night. Come again. All right, sirs. The night's over. You have kettles you need to return to. All done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Boss, how did you end up booking, being booked by dogs? I know some dogs myself. <laughs> huh? And you told me we're booked for the whole weekend, right? That's right. Hmm. Please bear with Please it. Please bear with it. We're all doing our part after all. We're all contributing. Person that was in the back the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Well, I gotta go for today. Bye. Take care. There we go. There Saturday, we go. December 10th. There's another yeah. day. Alright, uh, do, you, do you want me to go back to being chill? Yeah, we can s switch around again. Alright. <laughs> right. Good evening. Day two of serving dogs. Are you ready? No. Cheer up. No. That attitude, that attitude won't make things easier for yourself. Serving dogs won't wasn't won't ease ease things either. Have you heard anything from Gil? No, but he should be having fun wherever he is. Also, did you know we had darts? Yeah, I did. Why didn't you tell me? Because that's the kind of stuff you should just assume. A target board usually comes with a set of darts. Do you like darts, boss? Not particularly, but now I owe an apology to someone. Huh? Anyway, call me if you need anything. Sure. Mm. Well then. Proxy. Why is it not? I'm looking for the thing that makes them go. I think if you if you hover over the when them on the left. Ah, oh, loading preview. There we go. I I do like how that one starts the kind of drum line going. And that one's pretty classic. See what's going on towards the back here. Mm -hmm. Let's get one of those in there. Uh, yeah. Show time. There, we need that to go in. The assignment. Base of the Titans, out of orbit. There we go. Mix things up a little bit. Time to mix drinks and change lives! Oh, hey. Can I have a big beer, please? Thank God, a human. Sure, coming right up. Let's give her a big beer. Alright, a little bit of everything for this. Four. 
and two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Oh, next. Big Jesus. beer. Big beer. Here. Thank you. May I ask what you what you, what do you do for these dogs, Miss um... Beatrice? But everyone calls me Be Betty. And why do you need to know that? If you've been stuck with dogs all day, you'd also be curious when a human walks in. Fair enough. I'm their veterinarian. They're all your clients? Yeah, company issued vet. I mean, I have my own office, but it's in their building. So you're Betty the vet. Oh, cram it. Mm. Sorry, not in the mood for puns right now. I'll keep it in mind. Mm -hmm. Anything else I might need to avoid bringing up around you besides puns? Enhan enhancements? Well, that's harder to shove into conversation than in the first place. Noted. What do you have against enhancements, anyway? Em proceeds to immediately ignore that device. <laughs> Don't think That's about zebras. <laughs> They're unnatural. They go against the very idea of human evolution. Boom. But there's a certain wall that human can't humans can't cross without enhancements. It's not like having something replaced will automatically make you an expert in things. If anything, getting an enhancement sets you back until you get used to it. Yeah, but it just makes things too easy on paper. Anyone with money can replace their body parts and call it a day. But you have a point. Skill doesn't ship with, enhan with enhancements. At least, not yet. Sorry for the outbursts. I have my story with enhancements. Oh, I don't mind. It's way more entertaining than serving drinks to talking dogs. Damn, sorry. They're both having outbursts. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, that's my job right now. Do you want another drink? I'm fine for now. Call me if you need anything. Sure. Worm figure. Hey, have you seen a red dot? I've seen many things in my life, but a red dot? Not today, no. Do you have any red drinks? Red drinks? Yeah, the drink might... the drink might know something. Right. A red drink. Uh... We're not getting anything here. We might have to uh, interpret a little bit. Uh, what about... What, what, would a red drink have a lot of uh, Edelheide in it? Yeah. What about uh, a Mars? Mars? Oh yeah, a Mars Blast. Let's try that and see yeah. if it's red in the, uh, on, the, on the screen as well. Thanks. We're, we're experimenting. Oh, blended. It's our job to interpret. It's more of an orange color. Yeah. Uh. Maybe something with a lot of olive head. Yeah, let's um, try that. So. I think it does let you get away with uh, some interpretation mm. when it's being vague like this. Yeah. Yeah, close enough, I think. That'll work, yeah. Let's try that. Here. Thanks. Okay, punk, hear me out. You're gonna tell me where that red dot went, or I'll drink you. <laughs> I'm not bluffing. I'll drink you up. Ellipses. Bangkok bastard. Those damn Pomeranians. They think they can just come in here and take our jobs. Oh no, explicitly racist dogs. Excuse me? 
He's been getting some serious media attention because the company only hires Corgis. Must be slow news day. But you know what I say? It's good that we don't hire anyone else. We don't need more races ruined in our workplace. Next thing you know, they'll be asking for us to hire cats. Wouldn't other races bring new skills to the company? Shut up. What do you know? Now give me a bad touch. <laughs> All right. Mm. A, b -b a bad touch for the dog. Jill is 12. <laughs> Mm, well, I'm doing it right, but doing it wrong. Uh, I was hitting the wrong buttons, but uh, that's fine. We needed that anyway. All on the rocks. A little mix up. Bad touch. Here. Humph. <laughs> Racist dogs. What are the odds? More likely than you think at this company. Yeah, apparently so. Wait, if I can't tell the difference between them, does that make me racist too? I think you're done. I think that makes you speciesist. I think you're right. Oh, would it matter if you're racist against racists? Asking the real questions. <laughs> All you um. Harris monkeys look the same. <laughs> Bartender, please stop dozing off. I need booze. Sorry, what can I get you? I'll have a Zen Star. Sure. What's a Zen Star? I think that's way at the end. You'd think something so balanced would actually taste nice. You'd be dead wrong. I like how they described this of just having four of each ingredient. Don't worry about it. Don't even trip. Just a big drink. All right. Oh, it's oh, it's a, it's like a it's like a tiki cocktail. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here. Thank you. Mm, ellipses. Something on your mind? Willing to lend an ear? It's in the job description, kind of. Yeah, it's like being expected to t to tip. Mm -hmm. Alright then, so, so you mentioned the thing about talking dogs. I thought people throughout the ages have always dreamt about talking to animals. Never mind the fact we could always understand their body language. Now that we understand them, what do we find out? They're just furry, adorable little office workers. Actually, scratch that. I've yet to meet a furry office worker with half the ch charisma of these little guys. You met furry office workers? I've seen my share of the world, bartender. Fur furries are running the world. So that that tracks completely. One, one plane goes down at the furry con <laughs> of the furry convention traveling and the internet is just done. No one's left that can maintain it. Shame. Sounds like you're tired. It's the fleas. It's fleas and tick season. I am tired. So you're tick. Don't you dare. Ahem. Well, this whole free bar thing is nice, though, I guess. It would have been nicer if we actually had time to get properly ready. What do you mean? I found out about the booking yesterday as I was getting ready. I did, did the client ask for something special? Was there something I needed to know about them? My boss didn't specify anything. All he said to me was, pretend like it's any other day. That was a screw up on our end. Sorry. They were desperately looking for a place to celebrate. I was actually surprised to find it. Uh, find out they got a place. Why all of a sudden plans? Do they forget their anniversary or something? 
We found a place, but the cardigans were the ones that hired it. Then some stupid, stupid argument arose, and the cardigans decided they didn't want to have any, Pom any Pembrokes at their party. I swear to God, these dogs act are like annoying little suburban kids. What are these cardigans I keep hearing about? Oh, just another kind of corgi, except with different fur colors and slightly different attitude. All of this is so silly. I've seen dogs play with cats. Dogs play with other dogs. And dogs mating with other dogs twice their size. Well, that's what happens when you have dogs mimicking their owners. I mean, that's the reason they are in a bar in the first place. But I guess the media focus on the Pembrokes probably didn't help. Sigh. Well, if you'd excuse me, I have dogs to... yeah. Hmm? Um, yeah, yeah, do your job. Don't mind me. Tortilla Pope. Hey, buddy. Hello. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Uh, you? I am? Whoa, thanks, buddy. <laughs> what can I serve you? Well, a big sunshine cloud would be nice. Coming right up. Uh, so excited. It's me. I'm the good boy. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel, too. Bitter. Girly. Soft. Right, right we need uh, some that to get up to be a big drink on the rocks. Hmm. Here. Ah, ain't you a cutie? Loopy doopy poop. Woof. Courage. <laughs> you know what I hate, man? What do you hate, dog? Cabbages, man. <laughs> They're like lettuces that decide to go to the gym. <laughs> I think they are all. They think they're a big deal because they had their because their leaves are harder. Guess what? I don't like them. Calm down, dog. Do you want anything? For cabbage for cabbages to not exist. I meant to drink. Oh, I have a big grizzly temple then. I can. Do I it. can do that. Found the uh, one of the heavy tracks. What's that? What would the baseline under this be? Like how so? Yeah. I'm That's kind of like a marching tone under, as like the percussion underneath. Do you call it? It's not four on the floor. It's not regular enough. I don't know what this is called. Mm. There we go. There you go. Chill out for a bit, dog. Oh, sorry. Thanks, man. I was thinking about music and bass lines, ellipses. Bartender. Yeah. Do you have anything sweet? We're talking about drinks, right? Are you hitting on me? If that's how you want to see it. Well, let me see what I can get you. And make it big. <laughs> Do you like the big Miss Betty? It's not the size, but how you sell it. Gourmet food exists for that sole reason. Not wise words. She wants a big sweet drink. Stopped paying attention. We have done Blue Fairy. We haven't done one of these yet. One of these will make all your teeth turn blue. Hope you brushed them well. All that sugar. We'll just add enough alcohol to make it a big drink. 
<laughs> there we go. Is that how that works? Yeah, you just need to fill it up past 10. Okay. Here. This is a, uh, maybe I made a little mistake. Huh? This is what I ordered. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, declare that the dogs have thrown you off your edit, off your game. Er, right. Yeah, let's go with that. You know, I'm curious. What's the weirdest client you've ever gotten? I'm trying to figure out what I did wrong there. I wouldn't be able to tell you. There's many kinds of weird. Pick the first one that comes to mind. Well, there was this one guy that spent 30 minutes arguing with himself before ordering. That's not that weird. He came in wearing a Velociraptor mask and would not stop screaming. He left humming Moonlight Sonata afterwards. Oh yeah, that is weird. At least he left a nice tip. And better. Speaking of anecdotes, can I ask what your what's your story with the enhancements? Why the interest? Uh, because it seems like a personal thing. It doesn't sound like it's a question of ethics. Mm. And honestly, I'm really bored. <laughs> sure, I can entertain you a bit. Back when I was in. When I was a college freshman, some friends of mine decided to get their hands, hands enhanced. It was around the time we all started practicing surgery. They just wanted to bypass all the practice needed. And so they hired this shady character who would supposedly hook them up. I only talked one of them out of it. The others went off with the guy and got their hands chopped off. This is one of those stories that ends badly, I'm guessing. Yeah, four girls underwent the shady surgical procedure. Two lost their hands, one was left an arthritic mess, and the last one died on the operation table. So yeah, I'm not too fond of enhancements. Especially if they're taking the effort to avoid effort. Taking in the effort to avoid effort. This culture of become better automatically with enhancements really gets on my nerves. That story sounds so familiar. Did that shitty guy have a bleached mustache and tattooed black eyebrows? He also talked using an electro lyrics. You've seen him? No, but I remember news about the police catching someone who was performing illegal surgeries. Never thought I'd meet someone affected by him. It's a small world, isn't it? <sighs> well, I guess I gotta check on the dogs to see if they're fine. Sure, I'll keep sharing the booze. Thanks for sharing that story. Yeah, yeah. Accident. Hey man, you ever felt like time is moving too fast? Tonight, I'm feeling like it's not moving by fast enough. Lucky you. Well, they say that if time feels like it's going too fast, you're having a good time. What can I serve you? I want a bad touch. Sorry, coming right up. She's going to react like that every time. This, this dog wants a <laughs> bad touch. Oh, the rocks. Mixed. Oh, you it. forgot. You forgot the uh, camera time. Oh. Maybe I'm just getting blind to that. All right. Uh, da, da. There you go. Bad touch. Here you go. Have a good time out there. Maybe you're right. Thanks. Dog five. Bartender. Mm. One brandini, please. Sure. Sure. This one feel. Just a nice, simple. Eight out of ten smug assholes. Would recommend it, but they're too busy being smug assholes. 
sweet, classy, happy. Brantini. Here. Excuse me. The beer mat's dirty. Sorry, I'll change it. Nah, leave it like that. It's already ruined the Brantini anyway. Ellipses. Hey, bartender. Hmm? Eh? Bar. Ten. Dirt. Den. Bar. Ten. Ten. Bender. <laughs> Your job has a funny name. You don't say. Oh. Uh, I, I think I did, uh, the correct thing. <laughs> no, you, you, you got her super plastered. You're a cute bartender. I swear, I could just eat you up. Please don't. When did you get drunk? I've been a little dizzy for a while now. But it just properly kicked in. Also, also, some of the dogs invited me over for a drink? Except I'm not drunk. Right. Can you give me a small brantini? I will definitely pay you money. But you don't have to pay me. Aw, will, will you really buy me that drink? You're so lovely. Yeah, let's leave it at that. Just a nice, simple brantini. Sucks. Three. More comma train. More age. Mixed. It is it. Here we go. Here. Shucks, this is smaller than I thought. You're in no position to drink anything more than that thimble full. Maybe you're right. Hey, what made you become a veterinarian? I love animals. They are so cute, so funny, so, so huggable. I want to keep them happy. That's why I became a veterinarian. It's not always easy, but the knowledge that I've helped these cute, cuddly, squishy animals help lets me sleep like a baby at night. Lovely. Speaking of love, have you ever been in love, Rand Berti? <laughs> Haven't we all been in love at some point in our lives? Why? I need advice, and you look like a nice person. Uh, sure, thanks. Um, actually, it's about someone who's really focused on his job, so I figured you'd understand. I see. Still, what do you need to know? How do you get the attention of someone like that? Of course, someone... Of someone that's so hyper focused on something, he disregards everything else. Uh, taking an interest in whatever he's obsessed with is a good start, but there's no real science to this. Make him feel loved and special, just like you would with anyone else. I am. Do with anyone else. I am enjoying this track. It's a good one. You sure? He's like really, really, really obsessed. If he's a decent member of society, yeah, I see no problem with that. I hope you're right. I'm fresh off a breakup and I seriously need a hug. Oh yeah, how do I fix the fact that it's a guy? Beg your pardon? I'm not into guys, but this here is a guy. What do I do? Uh, uh, right, need to serve dogs, sorry. No need, we're leaving. Already? Don't worry, we'll come back tomorrow. Right. Thank God, thank dog. I mean, God, God. <laughs> dog, damn it. Done for the day, I'm guessing. Yeah. You might want to get some insecticide or something to make sure we're not full of fleas. What does the health inspector think of this stunt? The health inspector is too afraid to come to this part of the city, so I'm, I'm, I'll assume he's fine with it. Right. Say, boss, you look tense. Really? Weird. 
ellipses. So I'll call it a day here. Thank you for your hard work. All right. So last day for uh, the prologue. Do we want to? Uh, mm -hmm. Do Do we want a break or keep going? Probably. Oh, let's take a break. It's late enough. Yeah. Weird. Oh. Weird time to partial it up, but I think. Yeah. It's getting to be bedtime around for me. Yeah. Yeah, me too. We're enough. Uh, settings. I think we can just save here. Something. I'm sure it will let us save. Yeah. No, we've we finished day two and we can pick it up at day three. Yeah. There we go. Hey. So, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, uh -huh. Next week we'll get to start the game. Yeah. Uh, who, who's on, who's live right now that we can <laughs> potentially raid? Uh, it's Kyle Phillips. Oh. I wonder if, uh, the people that publish this game are live. Cause that's who I'm thinking I would want to. No. Yeah, let's go uh, over to Kyle Phillips then. Thanks, everyone. We will see you next week uh, with uh, mo more hey. Valhalla. Bye-bye.